Hey everybody, Lucas Welsh here, and today is going to be the start of a of a series that I'm doing on a on a pretty massive restoration project that's in the shop here. Um, I'm going to go right to it. Here it is. This is a fiddle that came to me last summer, and it's been sitting in the queue, just waiting for me to have have time to get to it, we're there. This fiddle belonged to a fellow by the name of Jack Milliken from Big River, Saskatchewan. Um, and it, it says bought in 1933. Now I thought originally that he had built it, but you know, I'm not, I'm not really full on the story. So I'm going to have to contact the family and see if they can fill me in a little bit on the story some more there. But his, uh, he passed away, Jack passed away, and his granddaughter uh, sent me this fiddle. Uh, it, was, it wasn't this dismantled, but it was a part. The back was off, the top was coming off, there was parts of the rib on the back, there was parts of the ribs on the top, the neck was loose. Uh, it needed to totally be dismantled so that we can start assessing and do the work on it. And that's what we did today. We just kind of assessed everything, and then we dismantled it down into its base parts. So there's a couple major flaws with this instrument. And again, the goal is always to be um, the least invasive that we have to be. Now, this is obviously a, uh, definitely a special case. Um, and we're going to have to do some major, major work here. So, number one, uh, the biggest thing with this fiddle is is the overall construction. When we look at these ribs here, those of you that know are going to take a look at that and you're going to go, hey, there's no linings on there. So, what linings are, is there little, little strips of wood that are bent to match the curves of the sides and they're glued into the sides. And what that does is that gives you... A thicker surface here to glue to your top and your back. This being about a mill and a half thick doesn't give you much glue surface and as you can see here they've got a thick wall of glue built up all around trying to give those sides some contact and some glue to hold to. Um, unfortunately it just it was never was never going to last uh, like it should so we're going to have to, that's going to be the ma one of the most major uh, things that we're going to have to do. We're going to have to put linings on. Now, we put linings on, and then the argument goes, well, if you're going to put linings, maybe we should do corner blocks. Again, I want to be as, as least invasive as I can be. I may not have done corner blocks because lots of fiddles are made without corner blocks, but I've got a situation like this where part of this side here has actually torn out. So when I put it back on, I'm gonna to have to patch, put a block in there anyway to support it. So I'm thinking corner blocks is gonna be the way to go. So corner blocks and linings, that's the first major consideration. Now that you're gonna look at this top, and maybe some of you are going, hey Lucas, uh, you're missing something. <laughs> And you're right, we're missing the tone bar. We're missing the bass bar altogether. And again, for those of you that, that are maybe not aware of the, how a fiddle is made, this is one that I'm working on right now, a new fiddle, uh, and this is a tone bar, okay? So it's cut to match the, the curve and the dish and everything at the top, and then we, we trim it and we, we make it all pretty afterwards. So this, this old violin here has none of that, which again, probably contrib contributed ultimately to its, you know, uh, demise, because without that, uh, the structure of the top would have moved a lot, would have put a lot of extra pressure on, you know, everything. It had a very, very small uh, sound post, you know, which again... Kind of contributed so we're gonna have to put a tone bar in to give it enough structure to to make it work now this is a pretty thick 
fiddle all around. Um, so we're not we're not going to do any thicknesses. I'm not touching any thicknesses on this fiddle. It is what it is. Um, what I want to do though is just make it so that it is structurally sound enough to play. The uh, the neck construction is kind of a Spanish heel type where the sides actually mortise into the into the neck, and that's not the most common uh, practice, but I have seen it on a number of old fiddles, so it's not that it's super rare to see that, but it is it is a little bit of a a pain to deal with sometimes. The uh, the other big thing that, that's going to have to be changed is this. Uh, well, I mean, honestly, this was probably a piece of 2 by 4 that they put in. You know, I mean, these, these guys did with what they had. You know, they, they weren't calling out to their local luthier supply house, which there are none. <laughs> you know, so they probably grabbed a, a piece of what they had and, you know, made it work. Uh, it's It's really big and the end pin is glued right in solid to it. I have to take the back sides off of the end pin um, to get it apart. So, so the first thing that's going to have to happen is we're going to have to deglue this thing, all this, all this thick glue all around the outside, all around the back, and everything. Uh, it has to be taken off, uh, cleaned up, made nice. Um, there is the the seams on the top are worth separating a little bit, and they put a piece of cloth on here, which seems to be holding. But uh, we'll see, we'll probably wind up taking that off to clean this big ridge of glue before we do a tone bar in here. And then we'll probably put some cleats on there. Other than that, actually, there's, there's not too much for cracks. There are two little cracks on either side of the neck, the heel button. There's two little cracks in here uh, that need to be worked with a little bit. So, But I think overall, this fiddle actually... Um, Aside from aside from just the the construction, not really being uh, what it necessarily should have been to start with. The neck is the neck is decent. It's had a you know it's had a, a shim put in there at one point to give it the right neck angle. Um, and we're not gonna we're not gonna fuss with that too much as long as as long as it's you know as long as I can get a bridge onto it and it's in the right ballpark. We're going to go with it. Uh, we're going to see if we can find enough oversized pegs to make that work. Otherwise, I will have to bushing the holes a little bit. Um, but anyway, that's uh, that's this fiddle in a nutshell. So this is your, your introductory session. Um, and if you want to stay tuned, this is going to be a multi-part process here. I've probably got two hours worth of degluing, you know, cleaning and scraping and hot water and, you know, whatever else it takes just to get this glue off of here. I'm not touching the varnish. The varnish is what it is. That, that would just totally affect the, the originality of it, you know. There's a couple cracks on the, on the back ribs that need to be addressed. New tail block, new linings, new corner blocks base bar there's a little bit of work to do on this old girl but we're gonna get her done so anyway hope you enjoy stay tuned